gonna need two balloons for your flower balloon. First, you're gonna need a green balloon. Really isn't crucial how you inflate this one because you're only gonna be using a very small portion and the rest of the balloon forms the bracelet. The second balloon will form the petals and I've inflated it pretty much all the way and then I've kind of uninflated it uh, just a little bit here because you want this balloon to be soft. You don't want it to be real firm because that's going to play a role in uh, the making of the petals, which is a rather advanced technique. Let me show you how to do that. Now uh, notice that I did leave uninflated end, but what I've tried to do is distribute the air pretty evenly throughout the balloon. And again, it's fairly soft. Now we're gonna tie the tip here to the nozzle. Have your balloon here, forms a loop. Now you're gonna find the midpoint, which is right about here. Try and make sure the air is evenly distributed through the balloon. You have this, pretty much a circle that's broken into two twists here. Now what you're gonna do is fold this into kind of an S shape. Kind of mark where they are. And I like to separate this into thirds. Just like this. Sausages. Fold them together. All of the twists go on each side. Twist there. Twist there. And now. We're going to fold it like this. And you form the petals, now adjust. Made some petals. Now you're ready to add your stem and bracelet. Take your second balloon, make a basic twist. Now if you like, you can leave it a basic twist. I think it looks better when it's a pinch twist. So we're gonna take the nozzle and we're gonna fold it in and the nozzle is gonna be twisted into here. There we have a stem. Now all you do is take this and place it in the middle of the flower here. Flower. Now we have to make the bracelet. This is the easy part. Take the end of your green balloon and you're gonna have this here. We're gonna take some scissors. Take your scissors and you're gonna clip it here. Let it deflate. Now all you do is uh, decide how big the bracelet should be. So you're just forming a loop and then wrapping this around the petals. And there you have a balloon bracelet. Just remember this is like a rubber band that just goes around the wrist.